Let, let me explain something to you all. The structures that we are able to see here, why we are not seeing them sometimes is because there's a haze over top of them, depending on what these pipes, structures, or anomalies, whatever they're doing. Come over to this side. Look down here. This object here is the same basic installation that's up there, but it has a haze or blur that's over top of it. Whether that haze be a movement, whether it be um, a smoke or dense haze that's over top due to activity on the surface of the moon, this is where we're at. And this is, this is a lot, guys. And this is what I'm not understanding. But like I said, I'm here to show people what I found on the moon. I'm not going to try to take over uh, the entire mainstream and uh, thrash anyone that's saying opposite of what I'm saying. I don't have to. This is the surface, those are the structures, and this is the, the truth. It's just as simple as that. I started posting all these things online, doing my research a whole year's time, and then after a year's time, no one believes me. Here's the thing, when I show it to you close like this, it seems to be bothering many of you that you see the straight lines that go through the entire photo. Well that's just simply because I'm over excessively zoomed up close to show you these shots. So just take the advantage of looking what's on the surface of the shot and not having, um, uh, how can I say, a view of this without the lines in it. Why are we seeing the lines? It's because these objects are very small and these should be greatly appreciated because if not, no one would have seen these structures. Now let me talk to you in great detail about what we are seeing on this picture and you guys can examine, pause it for yourself, use magnifying glass, which is extremely good to be able to see what I'm trying to talk to you about. This object or installation that you guys are seeing here that looks like one square object has 50 or 60 different angles, perfectly symmetrical, has a flat floor surface, entrances, tunnels, everything is here and clear to see when you zoom up onto it. But let me tell you worse than that, or should I say a lot better than that. The trail that persists here all along what we know as a crater, all the way down to here is very intricately detailed to get to these massive installations. What you're looking at here on the right and to the back are many cities of thousands of kilometers by thousands of kilometers square feet wide. And let me tell you something, like the tunnel going in here on the side of the crater. I'm going to clarify this next city, but this one was clarified almost as best as I can. Impossible, I'll get it better than that. The details here, the platforms that you are seeing, the elevated levels, the connections, the symmetrical connections, the perfectly, perfectly symmetrical collection, uh, connections so long people that work in pipes, people that have connected pipes all their lives are coming on my page and I'm not lying and they're telling me where the heck did you get that? And they're noticing that the pipes and the way that they're all interconnected and intertwined together is an actual standard setup for many areas here on the, on earth, like installations for oil rigs, installations for reservoirs that hold gas, propane. This is serious. And in this one photo exposing an entire secret, nobody can see it. I'm trying to get the message out so that people can open their eyes and take a look and look in detail what these pictures are holding. No, I sound mad, but I'm not mad. But um, how can I say it? I'm affirming myself. I've seen the truth and the world is going to know the truth. And I'm going to do it legally and I'm going to do it without spamming. Do you, know, do you guys know that I was pulled off YouTube for being a spammer? Okay, they defamed me telling me that. And let me tell you, not only have I not ever spammed anyone, there's no one in the world that has ever in their damn lives received an email from me from any website because I don't do that. You know why? It's spam. It's as simple as that. 
So there's a lot coming this week, guys. And just today, I'm going to have a lot of videos up. This is video one for today. And there's a lot of proof here. You're looking at a lot. Structures there. And not just structures, guys. We're looking at cities. But don't forget, these structures could be machines. It could be piping. It could be anything. But I'll tell you one thing. They're not naturally there. Formed. It's right there. And I don't know what people have a problem by understanding that, that this object is there. And look, eh? I, I know some of you are really going to be pissed off that I'm showing this, but look, look at the nice landing strip and or connections coming down here, going down there, intricately, very detailed city and um, very symmetrical, organized surface of the moon, just like here on Earth or any other planet, because I assure you there are many planets with cities like this. Now here's a good bit of important information. You see those grids that you see those squares that are giving us this image? Why are we seeing it with squares over top of it? When you zoom up, this is how a computer screen or any monitor will show photos. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little square dots that depict a color for each little area of a screen. So don't wonder why you're seeing the squares. Get over the squares. We are too close and over zoomed. It's the only way we're able to see these structures. It's like cheating death, but digitally. So understand it, accept it, and you know, we have no choice but to look into this. There's structures up on the moon. So, in my stitched photo, I am very happy to show you all that by showing you all these craters, well, this is the city that I found. The other city at the back, symmetrical glass little city. And look, when we zoom up into it, isn't that awesome? You can see the structures are all there. And look at the intricate detail, guys. Can you see how beautiful that is? I'm mesmerized because this is a surface shot and you know what out of my 2,000 photos that I have of the moon in space guys this is the one that's the most compelling look there's the structure that we've seen through the entire video at the beginning that's inside the crater there but on certain days if there's a haze over top well the crater looks like this one but do you understand these are companies that are uh, working and and they're just the smoke and or haze is covering most of the structures that are on the surface isn't that mesmerizing? And you can clearly see here, beautiful city on the surface, and it's all, uh, all the details and outlines are very, are, are very clearly seen. They're small, they're close to the surface, they're maybe hard to pick up and analyze, but look, we'll stare at this for a couple of seconds or minutes, and it's not very hard to see that there's a structure or many structures there, and that there are cities, and you just keep looking, keep looking, and every day, and, uh, you will go back to the photo and you will see more and more and look right there where the many craters are southern highlands clavius crater which by the way to give you an idea clavius crater is right here so if clavius crater is here just east of clavius crater everyone's running for their telescopes let's go see if the city's there you have to guys and this is what i want the channel to do is to show everyone where i'm getting these i'm not hiding it it's right there so you guys are all professionals, and I'm only an amateur astronomer. Please, I need guidance, right? Well, go look and tell me if you can not see these structures. And if you don't, well, some of you will think I'm a liar, but some of you may be impressed of my techniques and want to get informed more of how I'm doing it. Because these are very, very intricate, detailed base and or platformed areas 
to either land or that they're working and we even see green around the surface there. Pause it. Look at the bridges. Top right, overpass, installations, everything's there. Bingo. Thanks for watching, everyone. These are the BruceSeasall.com website contributors towards the fundraiser for the bigger telescope. The link to that telescope fundraiser is in the description of this video. Thanks, everyone.